On the afternoon of March 29, 2013, a number of police employee vehicles sped by the location I was working at in Westmoreland, New Hampshire. I jumped in my truck and traveled up in the direction they were heading. Upon spying some lights on the side of the road, I pulled over to the nearest parking lot and got out on foot to find out what was going on. I just want to let you know I'm filming, obviously, but I'm just curious to know what's going on. Uh, I can't talk about it. Okay. I'm, uh, anytime I see something, you know, I saw a lot of police vehicles go by. I just want to make sure no one's rights are being violated sometimes. Feel free to talk to them if you want to talk right. about anything, but I will. Any farther than here. I appreciate it. How you doing? Fine, how are you? I'm pretty good. I just uh, saw a lot of police vehicles go by. Just curious to know what's going on, if I could. There's been a crash. That's about all I can tell you. Oh, just a vehicle accident? Yeah, this is basically where I am. I haven't been actually up in the scene to see it. Okay, so just taking care of some stuff. Yeah, my, my best advice would probably be to, to stand by and wait for a, an update. And once I have one, okay. I can share it with you. Okay. Okay. All right, thanks. Yep, absolutely. And what, can I get your name and badge number, please? I don't have a badge number. It's Super Cody. Cody? Okay, thank you. Yep. Here's a, another responder here. I was told there's a vehicle accident up the street, so just wanted to call and make, or uh, show up here, make sure no one's rights are being violated. So if it's a vehicle accident, that's all it is. So probably not much more we can do now. After recognizing that I couldn't see anything from the location I was at, I walked back to my truck and drove around to the other entrance on that street. That too I found was blocked. Operating on the information that just an accident had occurred, I decided to head back. It was only a few hours later that I learned from a friend that there had allegedly been a robbery in nearby Vermont and a police chase had ensued, which resulted in it looked like one vehicle being on its side and the suspect in that robbery being shot to death. Obviously, this is a situation that's pretty rare, so I'll give Trooper Cody some latitude, but still, why not be transparent? Why not uh, share as much information as he has with others on the scene? Updates to the story will be posted at copblock.org.